Okay guys, getting into it, showing you my bullet journal essentials. Okay, let's go. So I know some of you guys want to get on your planning game and your finance game and all that stuff. So on Vlogmas Day 20 this year, 2019, I uploaded how I track my monthly and yearly finances, income slash expense using Microsoft Excel. So if you haven't checked that out, I highly recommend checking that out because my friends, my viewers, they have been telling me that this has been very helpful. So I want to help you guys out too. Starting 2020, we are going to be financially stable, okay? Watch our video, girl, I'm going to help you, okay? Anyways, so why I mentioned that is because I do have uh, like a quick tracker for my Ujo. So like when I'm out and about, I can't have Microsoft Excel pull up anywhere, right? So this is a quick way for me to just log my finances real quick before I, you know, really put it on the ledger. I'm going to show you a quick spread. So this is the monthly spread for June. You can see right here of 2020, I have the calendar laid out with the dates and the days of the week. And then, you know, your little cute stickers here and there and just like to symbolize June, you know, summer's coming and whatnot. This right here is my income tracker. So like I list it in five weeks and uh, depending on which, cause I get paid bi-weekly. So depending on which week my pay lands, I'll put it in that week per month kind of thing. So let's say if I get paid first week of June, I'll put it in that first week slot for under this job. The reason why there's two columns is because you can have two jobs or you sometimes you get extra money not from your main job or something like that. So I like to leave some space just in case of extra income. So this is now my finance tracker for six months. So April, May, June, July, August, September, obviously, you know, the first three months and the last three months are in the front and in the back of this. So this is what I'm gonna use to list. So I could write a lot more and make it smaller and it won't be crammed in one space. And I have a lot more space width wise. So I feel good about this, you know? Like before I update my ledger on Microsoft Excel, I just quickly jot my transactions on everywhere from every place collect some receipts and stuff like that and just jot it here and then when I'm doing my ledger I look at this type it in fill it in so I'm not constantly looking at 20 different places so just another way to track because also this is more like you could carry it everywhere you're not gonna carry your um, precious you know USB drive everywhere with all your information right keep that at home don't let everyone access that because girl you want to keep your finances safe okay so that is the current bullet journal i have been using since uh, october 2018 and i'm going to finish it all the way up to 2020. so after i'm finished with my first bullet journal oh i can't wait i bought this uh, scribble that matters so the reason why i upgrade I'm, i want to upgrade or eventually upgrade to this is because these pages are a little bit lead through i guess you can say you write like you know something here it'll pop up in the la like the next page i don't know if you can if you see that you see that you could even see that in the light yeah so there's that that's why i bought this and this has high reviews i watch a lot of bullet journal videos you know really guilty of that because it's one of my guilty pleasures and yeah i heard great things about this and no lie i kind of already started this 2021 part of the journal so i'll show you some bits of it so i messed up the front page so i started like decorating it and whatnot and uh i have the boba guy stickers because you know you gotta stay true to boba i put the legend key here and everything it's really nice because it's also like the first few things are laid out for you already and I color coded it obviously and then the index I haven't filled that in yet but there's that and I like how the pages are numbered so you can reference it and whatnot the idea for the cover pages for 2021 is this and then I want to put my favorite quotes all around that and just like really symbolize what stuck out the, that year and what really resonated with me and you know looking back on it would be really fun so that's the idea so that's why i only got this and uh you know it's the colors i want to mention this real quick dual brush pens amazing awesome literally amazing so one side is a brush and one side is a um pen or marker shall i say and the colors are in pastel I got this on amazon i'll link everything i can down below so you guys can you know snatch one of these it's really nice so pretty come on you know me and my pastel so that's one of my essentials for that 
and then what else oh i did a future log you know stuff that will be listed each month and i did it in different colors for each month because you know gotta add some nice dreamy colors to kind of make it fun you know and then this is the second set of six months for 2021 and i put the quote good things take time because i thought that was so cute and then again with my colors you know these are my doctor appointments annual things so i did it like this right here i'm gonna show you the next page later but yeah so i got a list of my uh, supplements and then stuff that i need to do every year like annual gyno appointment annual uh physical stuff like that and then doctors i list my go-to doctors right here and as you can see i did a self-love page so pretty much i'm gonna draw little things that year or in the moment of things that really helped me that year to provide me with replenishment of my energy vibes you know good feelings and just taking care of myself so this is a reminder slash something i like doing that's all that i got and you notice as i flip flip through each page it didn't bleed through it really doesn't bleed through and i love that and it's amazing it's thick i like the feeling of the papers it has a, even like a little pocket slot thing and the drawing scribbles are so cute and I think at the end there's a pen test page if you want to ever like scribble something that like you know a new pen that you might not know if it will ruin your bujo so this is a good page to use when you test it I haven't really gone through this because I want to go through it next year or next next year so this is one of the essentials and it also has a main pen slot holder talking about pens let me show you the one that I use the most to write notes to write everything events anything anything that i'm not color coding i use the micron zero one this one is thin it's nice it's precise and it looks cute and it's good it's like a good marker pen it acts almost like a sharpie but without all the disadvantages of a sharpie it's just that good okay definitely use it highly highly recommend and if you don't use pens or you like to mainly just color code and everything like that i highly suggest getting erasable color pens so these are my holy grail for 2018 to pretty much the end of this year and i still use it but i use it mainly to just fill in the color for the event so i use the micron uh, one pen to just uh, write out the stuff and then just to color it to color code what category like work event you know or personal friends event kind of thing i don't want to completely use this up i want to save this as much as possible because these are expensive i think this is 20 something dollars okay but really really worth the investment and so easy to use you just make a mistake and then erase it at the top it's just really really nice and it has a good amount of colors for your basic needs and i'm telling you this <laughs> and i'm telling you this will do you so well so there's that if you tape a lot of things which i started to in my bullet journal i tape a lot of receipts and souvenirs that happened in that month in my bullet journal once the month is over so i can look back and be like oh my god this is a like you know uh souvenir ticket thing or memoir uh, memento thing from that month and you know all that stuff so i highly recommend this tombow uh, mono dots adhesive thailand apparently for some reason i don't I, apparently the box didn't come with the other side to attach and you know all that stuff but honestly this is amazing it's double-sided you don't really need to get tape and just you know double-side it yourself and roll it into kind of a double-sided tape and tape it down this literally glide like a white out and then boom stick it onto the page got you okay gotta get the best to be on your game right you don't want to be bored and stuff i got a cactus pencil to kind of just sketch out my outline and not ruin um, my bujo by just drawing it out like freehand this is just the sketch ahead of time plan out my pages and then boom so you make less mistakes because if you make a mistake with a pencil you can erase it with an eraser and then boom start over again you can't do that with many pens you know especially this one this one's permanent do you really want to be drawing with these like special ones no i don't think so so what i'm thinking is i'm gonna use this for the month so instead of writing out planning the little fonts and stuff like that this will be easy boom 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 simple minimalistic maybe color around it if you want some 
pizzazz, you know, decorate it. But otherwise, I want to stick to simple fonts without thinking and like making it too stressful for me. So just stamp the months and the days of the week and bam. And anything I really want to use this for, I could use this for cards, I could use this for letters and stuff like that. So that would be fun for me. So I got these two. So I would highly suggest if you are more on the lazy side or you want to keep things simple without the stress, get like accessories or tools that will help you stress less especially if it's repetitive you know if it's not just one page and you do it for every month definitely get something like stamps to help you make the process easier finish faster or whatever because some people are busy so i am getting busier as the year goes because uh, i have more responsibilities at work and yada 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 and i want to still build a journal but i want to keep it fun you know ruler if you like to freehand be my guest but i'm kind of like a low-key neat freak <laughs> so getting a ruler is really recommended because i got this on amazon everything really here is mostly from amazon except the one that i showed you last paper source this will really keep you from stressing you really want to draw a straight line there you go what if you accidentally draw because sometimes this happens to me i try to draw a straight line and here it curves you know ruler recommend post-it notes little post-it notes just in case you don't want to actually put anything on your bullet journal like let's say if you have a little to-do list task and you don't want to always fill it in and not run out of space post a note right there to-do list right there and that's it those are all my i'm checking around <laughs> but those are all my bullet journal essentials main things i like showed you guys here are the stuff that i recommend i have a lot of other accessories and tools that i use but these are the ones that are just gonna really suit you really well keep things simple keep things stress-free and make everything look so nice good quality everything so starting out obviously i had not such a great journal because it was bleed through but you know what i still love it and i'm not gonna waste it because it's not cheap like the paper doesn't feel cheap it just bleeds through so i'm still gonna use this and you know what this has a lot of memories you know this traveled to california with me this went to new york with me it went everywhere with me so i'm just letting you know like if you're a beginner and you don't want to spend and splurge on a good journal definitely start out this i think came with three notebooks and it was like 12 bucks for three little notebooks and look it lasts me two years just by monthly calendars if you want to do weekly obviously you're going to take up the journal faster but yeah there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, see you next time. Stay strong, my dumplings. I love you guys so much. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, okay? Bye.